Good day everyone. Today we'll talk about Maurice Tiberius. Maurice Tiberius ruled from 582 AD to 602 AD. And we talked previously in the last uh, in the previous episode how he became the new Byzantine emperor. Maurice Tiberius actually wrote a book about uh, the strategic war affairs. Uh, you could find it also on Amazon. Uh, Maurice Tiberius was a good uh, foreign policy man, but domestically was not that good. We will talk about it at a later on point. Uh, this period, 582 to 602, it's also the same period that the Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, was uh, in, in Mecca, but it was before his prophethood. So if you will talk about the, the dinars or the solidus, uh, uh, gold solidus of Maurice Tiberius, yes, it was used uh, during the, the era of the Prophet, however, before his prophethood. Uh, Maurice Tiberius had uh, a conflict also with the, the Sassanid uh, Empire, as we said back then when he was a general. However, at the year 590, Chazro II, when he became the emperor, he was overthrown by his uh, generals, so he seeked uh, refuge with Maurice Tiberius. Uh, ironically, because they were enemies, he was uh, uh, the enemy of Chazro the, the, the I and Homozad, and now they are allies. So Chazro II seeked refuge with Maurice Tiberius. Maurice Tiberius helped him, and actually Chazro II married Maria, the daughter of Maurice Tiberius, and from Maria he brought one of his daughter, which was uh, Boran, Boran Madocht, uh, which is the later empress of the Sassanid Empire. Now Maurice Tiberius also uh, managed to fight the, the Slavs at the Balkan uh, area, and uh, according to his book, uh, what is the best time to fight the Slavs? It was during the winter era. Now, uh, the, win the winter season. Now, we cannot just uh, mention that without stopping and comparing it with nowadays. You know, we have flights, we have planes, we have uh, food, we have access to food, unlike this time period. So usually the wars against the Slavs, the, the Byzantine Empire would usually stop during the winter season and go back to their homeland to rebuild and regroup and then attack the Slavs again. However, uh, according to Maurice, Maurice Tiberius, he believed that it's best to keep attacking the Slavs during the winter era. Uh, when he asked his, his soldiers to do that, they revolted against him and they appointed Phocas. Now this was, uh, as I said, in the, the Balkan areas. However, internally, there is also the, the deems, which is the, the teams that played uh, in the Colosseum, the Roman Colosseum, or the chariots, they had the chariots events. And there was the, the green team and the blue team. The green team and the blue team, they caused a lot of revolts and, and problems, even during the era of Justinian I, and now in the era of Maurice Tiberius, and they revolted against him. And so now Maurice Tiberius is facing focus this uh, general who revolted against him with the army that refused to attack the Slavs in the winter, and an internal revolt uh, with the green and the blue teams and the senates. So Maurice Tiberius was killed by Phocas, and Phocas thus became the new emperor from 602 AD to 608 or 610. And we'll talk about him at a later on episode. Thank you so much for watching.